Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I will explain the general principles of the conditionals and talk about the so-called zero conditional and then in the next videos I will talk about the first, the second and the third conditionals. Let's start with the structure of the conditional sentences. It has two parts, the condition and the main clause. The condition is usually introduced with the word if, but it could be unless, when, and supposing. But the main idea is if the certain condition is fulfilled, then the action in the main clause will take place. For example, if the weather is nice tomorrow, we will go to the beach. If the weather is bad tomorrow, we won't go to the beach. If the sentence starts with the condition, then after it we put a comma. If the weather is nice tomorrow, we will go to the beach. You can also switch the main clause and the conditional clause. Then you don't use the comma. We will go to the beach if the weather is nice. These were the main rules that apply to every conditional. My firm belief is that the best way to learn the conditionals is to memorize the examples, sentences for each conditional, and then fill them in with your own words according to the situation. Let's look at the zero conditional. The example sentence for the zero conditional is if you mix red and yellow, you get orange. I'm talking about the colors here. By the way, the reason why it is called zero conditional is that there is no real condition there. It is used for general truth or actions that always happen. You can't get any other outcome if you mix red and yellow. It's always orange. Some other examples of zero conditional could be if you don't water plants, they die. Or if you exercise regularly, you get in shape. Sometimes instead of the word if, you can use the word when. The sentence has the same meaning. When you mix red and yellow, you get orange. When you exercise regularly, you get in shape. Note that we only use the present simple forms of the verbs. Both in the if clause and the main clause, we don't use any further tenses here. That's all for today. Next video, we will talk about the first conditional. Until then, have a wonderful day and a great week. Thank you so much for watching and take care.